Why is oral health important? What are the conditions that can result from poor oral health? And what are some of the steps each of us can take to improve our oral health? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith. We are talking to Dr. Benoit Warren today. Welcome, Benoit. Let's start with why WHO places so much importance on oral health. Why is it important for everyone? You're right. Oral health is everybody's business. Oral health is the health of our mouth, our teeth, and our gum. Oral health is so fundamental uh, to our ability to, to breathe, to speak, to eat, but also even to, to smile. The mouth is also the starting point of our uh, system, body, system defense and immunity. The new WHO report tells us that almost half of the world population is affected by some disease, oral disease. And vulnerable and marginalized populations are particularly affected. This means that oral health and poor oral health is a marker of health inequalities. When oral health is compromised by disease or injury, general health is also affected. Oral disease can also have a social and economic impact in individuals and families by increasing household expenditures and seriously affecting people's quality of life and well-being. Benoit, explain to us what are the conditions that can result from poor oral health? The most common Oral disease and conditions are dental caries or tooth decay, gum disease, tooth loss, dental trauma, and oral cancer. All these diseases are preventable and treatable in the early stages. In more severe cases, oral disease can lead to disability and even death. Oral diseases are caused by a range of risk factors. They include tobacco use, alcohol consumption, and uh, unhealthy food and drinks. All these risk factors are shared with other medical conditions or non-communicable diseases, such as diabetes, uh, cancer, chronic respiratory disease, cardiovascular disease, or mental disorders. The biggest challenge are cost and access to oral health care. In many countries, oral health care are not accessible or not affordable to most people. Implementing prevention measures, such as in school, communities, and in workplace, is our best approach. Benoit, speak to us about how we can maintain and improve our oral health. This is a great question, Vismita. Uh, we have a uh, a number of top uh, tips valid for all age. The most effective measure to prevent dental caries is to brush your teeth twice a day after the breakfast and before going to bed with a fluoride toothpaste. Uh, something to reminder is using toothpaste without fluoride is not effective against dental caries. Second, to help prevent dental caries and maintain general health, reduce consumption of sugar in food and drink. Water is the best drink every day at any time. Another tip is to protect your teeth and face from injury. Use a protective equipment when you are doing sport Wear a helmet that covers the mouth if you are riding a motorcycle and do not forget uh, your seatbelt if you are traveling in the car. Finally, to lower the risk of oral cancer, stop, quit smoking all forms of tobacco and reduce alcohol consumption. We should keep in mind that maintaining a good oral health has a positive impact to our general health, well-being and quality of life. Thank you, Benoit. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy and stick with science.